Okay, so this is the final mission of the game, Brandenburg Gate. Now, if you remember in the first video, that was the location for the first mission when we killed the Major General. So, that's interesting. And our last chance to take out Wolf is at the Tiergarten airstrip. So, we have to go straight back into the middle of Berlin. Okay. Alrighty, that sounds good. Uh, get to Brandenburg Square. I think we can handle that. So we'll take our trusty Lee Enfield. Pishka. Two of those, and two of these. Swell. Let's do it. Okay. So our new objective is to get to the Brandenburg Gate. Well, technically, get to the Brandenburg Gate and don't get shot. That'd be a ideal. Loud noise. Hmm. Apparently no. Wait. Yes. Awesome. Okay, well, first off, I suppose, survey the area. See if we can see anyone. Yes, we can. But we can't shoot him. He moved too quick. Up there in that window. Come on, loud noise, loud noise. <sighs> Come on, loud noise. Damn it. He saw us for a brief instant there. Hopefully... He'll stay there until... this loud noise. I have you now. Gotcha! Oh! He saw us for a second, and then he lost us. Ha 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 ha! And now you're dead. Okay. So are there any other snipers that we can see? It doesn't appear so, but if I were a person putting snipers around, those windows look perfect. Let's try moving a little bit more over this way. Okay, well I see a Russian. I see two Russians. They appear to be having a conversation. Hopefully, if I'm quick enough, I can get them both. One, two. Ha! Okay. Uh oh. Okay, so someone said something. There's someone around who isn't dead yet. Is he perhaps down this way? Maybe. I don't know. If you can hear that, that, um,. Music in the background is the theme music. Which I think is a nice touch. Okay, well let's try exploring down here. Uh oh. Oh, there's a dude up there. I see it. <clears throat> Can't go through that way, unfortunately. So there's a dude up there. I can't see where he is, though. Oh, there he is. 
Found you. Uh oh. I don't want to be quite that close. Boom! Nice. Okay. Well, that's a good start. Might head back down this way, though. Just because I know this side is clear now. So, waddle, 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 crab walk. Okay. I wonder if I can get up there. Probably not. Okay, oop. Ah! Okay, they see me now. Whoa! Damn it. Pretty sure that there was no checkpoint there, so we'll have to do that again. Yeah. Balls. Okay, well, on the plus side, we know where some of these guys are. So that's handy. Got him with the first loud noise. That's important. He's the one who worried me a little bit. These other guys, we can take them. Let's just sidle this way. I see you up there. Don't see me. Ha 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 ha. Okay. One. Two. And then when he comes back. Splat. Perfect. Okay. So this isn't going too bad for a start. Let's see. Oh dang, he is really, really close. I did not realize how close he was. Okay, gotcha. Wait. Okay, 
That's not bad. Got him? No. Must have missed him. And there's a guy shooting at us with a pistol, I think. Well, that fellow is our main concern. Beyond the medic. And so is this guy. Whoa. Rusty. Okay. Can we go this way? I don't think so. We tried being stealthy, it didn't work out so well, but, eh. In this game, you can only be stealthy for so long. After a while, it just, yeah, you can't do it anymore. Okay. I think we're fairly safe up to this point. Building off to our right, but I don't think there's anything in there. Let's have a look. I think it's just a spot that if you manage to get up here stealthily, you can snipe from. I'm sure if I'm wrong that somebody will shoot me from it. But yeah, there's a couple of windows, so I think it is just that. Thing back there. Oh, there's those dead guys. I'm gonna go loot them. They might have some good stuff. Hello. Can I trip mine? Yeah, that's kind of good. And some dynamite. Yeah, less good, but still interesting. Okay. So now we have to go upstairs. Why? I don't remember. Maybe it's our way onto Brandenburg Square. 
This seems dangerous. Hmm. Yeah, there's the Brandenburg Gate, so it is just our way down. Oh. That hurt. Got some Lee Enfield. It's not too bad. And now I guess we have to fight our way across. That is a tank. I don't know if it's operational or not. That is another tank, and I'm fairly certain that that one is. Okay, so I'm just going to take a quick break from recording, and I'll be back momentarily. Okie dokie. So, I think the first order of business is going to have to be... Oh. He ducked back down. Did not see him do that. Okay. Nope. First order of business is taking out as many of these guys as we can without being spotted. That tank does worry me. But we'll deal with that one. Okay, so one Russian dude down. Nobody is any is a visor. Well, he might be. I think, take out the tank first, if we can shoot through that Yes. That tank is very worrying. Gun. But they know we're here now. Well, they know someone's here. They don't know us specifically, and they don't know where we are. Just know that, that thing exploded rather violently. Capacitation. Now, you should try to go help your friend. Oh, you saw me. Well, that's not good. Oh, and there's a sniper. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm so dead. I'm so dead, it's not funny. All because I suck at these games. <laughs> what are you doing? I think somebody is shooting me through a wall. Oh no, they're just shooting me. Ow. Okay, take that guy out. That's step one. He's dangerous. He has the high ground. Step two, get over here. Slightly more defensible. Okay, they have a vague idea of where we are. Especially the guys over there. Problem is, I can't really see anybody properly because everyone has good, pretty good camo. I don't see you. I just want I saw something. See you. Yeah, down you go. There's someone over there as well. I think. 
Whoa! Up top? Right. Ah, there you are. Okay, can't quite see him, but I know where he is now. So, I think I'm going to try and get behind the burning tank. Get that guy because he's too far up. Okay. So, time to run, 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 run. Uh oh. What do you mean, no? No balls. No balls. No double balls. Okay. Try to get behind this tank. Down. Okay. Lesson 101 don't do that. That is a very, very bad plan because it gets you shot like that. On the other hand, it does get you over to a good spot where you can shoot people from. Occasionally, it gets you underneath where a sniper can shoot you. So, I'm going to try going over here. Hmm. Okay, that didn't work so well. his rifle far enough. I think. Could very well be wrong. But I don't think I am. I think I'm alright. Yes, sniper shooting things. Hello. I see you. Oh. Ah, I see you too. I don't see you, but I know where you are. Okay, we got a red arrow thingy from this side. Is that another sniper? I don't think so. Let's go a little bit up. I can't tell if my shot isn't making it, or if I'm just really bad at shooting.
don't think I can do anything else from here. I might be able to go up and take that other sniper out. I don't know. No. It's just like a little hidey hole. Okay, well. In that case, I think it's time to head back this way. Circle about. Let's see if we can't take out the guy up there. Because he still worries me. I know roughly where he is, but I can't do anything about him. So I'm thinking if I get to the sandbags over there, I might have a shot. Okay, so they've lost me. For now, anyway. See where he is. I still can't shoot there. Still nothing. It's rotating. Yeah, yeah, keep looking. That's fantastic, but... Okay, can't quite see him. I'm gonna have to get back across this way. Not now. Not so much. Hmm. I know he's up on that top floor, but I can't shoot at him. Which is strange. Oh well. So the idea is to get on top of the Brandenburg Gate. To get there we have to go round these defences. And obviously first we have to find a navigatable path that doesn't involve walking into trees. <coughs> that guy up there still worries me. Even though I apparently can't see him. This is not a good thing. He might really be gone. But I'm pretty sure I didn't shoot him. I think I'd remember being able to do that. I don't see him, so I'm just going to keep moving. Hmm. Time to be a little bit more adventurous. And try and flank their position by going this way. I see you. Okay, that didn't go well. Yeah, that really didn't go well. <laughs> On the other hand, his cries for help might actually bring his mates over. To Occasionally that works. Apparently not this time. Those Ruskies. Unfeeling as ever. 
Okay. Oh, I didn't see that dude, so... I'm just gonna keep going this way. And hope that... Ooh, that is a tank, and I don't know if it's working or not. It worries me. Oh. Aha! I knew that was a dude. I knew it. Go away. Thought I had a shot him, and I was right. Vindication is oh so sweet. Okie dokie. So here we are at the foot of the Brandenburg Gate. The tank doesn't seem to be doing anything. It doesn't have those uh, flashing fuel caps, so I'm assuming that it's not dangerous. This, on the other hand, does look dangerous. Actually, I'm going to get out of the PPSH just in case I suddenly get bum rushed by Russians. I'm hoping that because I killed everybody, the alarm won't be sounded or something like that. Because that'd be nice. Okay, so we've got to go up here to get to the top of the Brandenburg Gate. I'm not sure if there is anyone actually up here. Oh, hang on. Wolf, what are you doing? Where do you think you're going? I know I'm setting up a trip line. Just in case they chase me. Which they might. I haven't played this in ages, I don't know if they do. Up we go. Really hoping there's nobody right up here. Oh, that's good. Um, place a trip mine here. Yep. And then we'll place a dynamite stick here too. They explode even better. Um, okay. Do we have one more trip mine? I think we have one more trip mine. I don't think I have to defend my position after I go up here, but I might not. I don't know. I don't remember. All I do know is that I'm climbing to the top of the Brandenburg Gate. Yay! Objective complete. Hang on. That is a car. That is Wolf. Oh my god, I have never got that on the first shot, ever. Today is a good day. Goodbye, Wolf. It was not nice knowing you. Captain America. The Battle of Berlin ended at 8.23 the next morning, May 2nd, 1945, when Commander General Weidling submitted the surrender of German forces to General Chukov of the Red Army. Within a few days, the war ended. But, already, a new war was beginning. The Cold War. And I was its first soldier. Captain America. Okay, so that's the end of Sniper Elite V2. I guess this is sort of the time where I put uh, poignant commentary about how awesome the game was. I, I don't know, I'm not very good at that sort of thing. But I did enjoy it a lot. And it was really just sort of refreshing to have, because uh, I'm not really a great FPS player. I don't play the peeps. And it was refreshing to just have a game where you know who the enemy is. You just bang, shoot him. That's it. And it's a Nazi. Easy. Or a Russian. Okay, Russians are a little bit harder to justify, but same sort of idea. And it's not bad. I mean, it's not all that it was advertised to be, because obviously there are very limited paths to get to your um, 
objectives. But it does offer you that choice of how to get there within that limited framework. And it's... It's not that bad. It's not fantastic. I remember that the uh, first Sniper Elite, if you could see a way, you could go it. You didn't have to worry about all that sort of um, free world limitations. Which was interesting for its time, considering that it's, uh, it's a fairly old game compared to this one. But I enjoyed this one. I mean, it was sort of annoying that you had to play Captain America and you couldn't play as uh, a British soldier or something like that. Somebody, or even a soldier not affiliated with anyone. Just a mercenary or something like that. But I can see why they wanted to have America versus Nazis. It makes sense. Um, the DLC, Kill Hitler, I might do that. I haven't decided yet. It's an interesting DLC. Uh, I have played through the other one where you get the Lee Enfield rifle. I might not play that one because it was fun, but it was a bit tedious in uh, that you had to get everything sort of just right. But it was good. Um, I want to say thanks to you guys, first off, for... Uh, <laughs> we're watching all this and getting to this point, obviously, if you're hearing me say thanks. Uh, especially to Ubu, or Ubun Ubunculum. I'm not quite sure how he wants that pronounced, Ubunculum. But his channel is called Slightly Bonkers, and he is brilliant. He plays Anno a lot. And he's uh, moving out into Mountain Blade Warband, I believe he said, in his suggestions video for what he was going to play next. But yeah, check him out. He's really good, and... Um, He's really supportive, which was helpful, because uh, one of the first comments that got me to keep doing this was he sent me a comment saying that I really like your Sniper Elite stuff and I'll keep watching it. And I thought, well, from someone who's actually fairly uh, established in the Let's Play community, that that's pretty nice. I'm, I'm appreciative of that. So, thanks to Boo. Um, there's not really much else I can say about this game. I mean, it was fun, but it was sort of bland. Obviously, I like the point system, because it encourages you to do better and uh, be more sneaky, etc. And the gold bars are a nice touch. They can be a bit hard to find, but I guess that's the point of collectibles. And the achievement system, it's fairly good. I think my favourite one has got to be past the buck which I didn't realize was an achievement, but you can uh, get one called Pass the Buck for shooting a ricochet shot that headshots someone. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, where are we going from here? I don't know. I'm trying to decide what to let's play next. I'm thinking Evil Genius or Mass Effect, but Mass Effect, I'm not sure if I want to do it, because if I do Mass Effect, I'll probably have to do Mass Effect 1. And Mass Effect 1 was good, but after I played Mass Effect 2, it just wasn't as fun anymore. Mainly because Mass Effect 2 did everything better. And yeah, I realize that's because it was the sequel. But yeah, it's interesting. Uh, if they bring out more DLC for this, I might play it. But I'm not really sure. And honestly, I think if you've played through this once or twice, it can still be fun to go back and play one or two of the missions, but as a campaign, it's not really all that fun. I played it as a, a let's play, mainly because I do enjoy it, and I hadn't played it in this style before, so that was entirely new for me, it was fun. But I'm not entirely great at the game, so I guess whenever it is that I play and I do fairly well, I'm a happy camper. Um. So I guess, congratulations to Rebellion and Ubisoft for making a game that I really enjoyed, even though it was had these limitations, but everything does. And just, yeah. It sort of seemed like you were living through a movie experience, but it was really good, and the credits are rolling up, so I think I might end it here. So um, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you back to watch one of my other LPs. This has been uh, Grey Hunter, playing Sniper Elite.